How's everybody doing out there guys? My name's Roll Easy and welcome back to another solo money glitch video here on my channel. Guys, alright, I'm gonna explain this glitch super thoroughly because we have the new DLC coming out very soon next Tuesday, man, or the Tuesday coming up. And you guys need to be making money because this is going to be an expensive one. We got submarines and stuff. So instead of making a video about the DLC, I'm going to go thoroughly on the only solo money glitch working at the moment. And I'm going to go over it with you guys. All right. So what you're going to need, well, first of all, the founders, you know, Glitch Guru, Obese Draft, Bruntango. Links are down in the description. And what you're going to need is I recommend going into a busy public session, not full, just busy. All right. It could be full and busy, but you want it to be busy. Crate mission, CEO work, uh, VIP work, stuff like that. Uh, MOC with the personal vehicle storage, a Sultan RS inside with a custom plate. That's what's going to sell the most. Put a low lip spoiler on it, right? That's going to help you stack the cars better. And what you need are more custom plates to be safe. I highly recommend more custom plates. And you want to blow up a bunch of faggots or elegies. The same amount of dupes that you want. And you want that many blown up faggots or elegies. I recommend an oppressor for this. A Warstock vehicle should work, but I recommend the oppressor. And also $955,000 to renovate the MOC, okay? That, you're only going to have to do that once. And then you're good. You'll make a bunch of money after that. I also recommend if you're on PS4, a lag switch, all right? That's gonna, or Xbox, a lag switch will work. It's gonna slow down your internet, all right? That will help a lot, and you wanna be really laggy to be able to do this glitch, okay? So here we are, we're getting started right here. Now, all you gotta do right here for the stack is, I recommend the best way is to hold left trigger down reverse, like about 20%, and hold the pause button, okay? And then you wanna let go of them right when his hand comes up and after the third rev of starting the car. So you see, he started it, it's the third rev and I let go. He slightly opened the door and you see right there on the pause menu, it came up on the black screen and the little marker or the icon moved back. That's actually fully successful. Now, I bought another Xbox yesterday because I wanted to test this, well, test glitches in general, but I used it to test this glitch. So I went on another account and I have my other account in this session right now. And that account, I had him standing in the MOC. I saw the dupe in my MOC on the other account, and guess what? It disappeared within seconds. That proves right there that you cannot have a friend, uh, you know, in their MOC looking for the dupe. It's going to disappear. And look at this. I actually hit it again right after. Same exact result. I hit it again. I looked at my other screen, and sure enough, the dupe was there, and the dupe disappeared. Okay? It fell under the map. So you cannot have anybody in their MOC in the session. That's why it's risky doing it in a public session. People screw with you and it disappears if anybody's even standing in their MOC. Okay, so that's what that proves. Now, at this point, this is a busy public session. There's like crate missions going on. There's activities going on. There's a lot of stuff happening here. There's about 25 people here. I could tell it was laggy. You could just feel it. You really can. Just going in and out of places, it just it takes longer, things like that. That's how you know it's laggy. So here we go. This is a successful stack right here. So I press Y to get into the car, immediately holding the left trigger, which is reverse. I'm holding it about 20-25%, barely anything, and I'm holding pause right now already. Okay, so I'm holding all of them. Now, he's going to go ahead and he's going to get in, close the door. His right hand's going to go down to start the car, and then it's going to come back up. And the engine's going to rev three times, okay? Right about now, boom, I let go. And you see, you can barely even see that he opened the door, but my marker on the map moved back, and you want to back out of this pause menu before the black screen ends, before you spawn back on the ground on foot, okay? That is how to avoid the dupe falling through the ground as well. If it's falling through the ground continuously, that means there's somebody in their MOC in the map, okay? That's just, that's the simple fact of it. You got to either leave the session or wait for that guy to get out of his MOC. That's the only thing you can do. So once you spawn out on foot, you should be able to come back in. And if you see the stack sitting there or just chilling, it could be perfectly stacked. It's usually going to take this long to load. See how long it's taking me to actually load in? That's a very good sign that you have a stack in there. It's super glitchy in there, which is why it takes so long for it to load you in the MOC. So if you're seeing this, you probably hit it. And there we go. The stack is there. It's not falling through the map at all. I recommend waiting 10 to 15 seconds right now. Now, Xbox, we have an easy fix for this so you guys can dupe in peace, okay? This is what you do on Xbox. Once you're sure that stack's not falling, that stack will stay there, go ahead and open up your Xbox dashboard. Go over to the settings. Go to network, network settings, and then go over to the right. You're going to see test NAT type. 
you want to go ahead and test your NAT type right now. Now when you test your NAT type, it's going to just be checking connection like this for a few seconds and it's even going to say you can go back to GTA. I recommend you just wait here until it's finished checking your connection, hit continue and then spam B to come back. And as you can see, everyone has left the session, alright? I've lagged everybody out, I'm the only one in this session, I'm free to dupe, nobody's going to be walking in and out of their MOCs and causing my dupe to disappear. We are good. PlayStation. I recommend you guys use a lag switch probably, okay? And you can use a lag switch to actually lag everybody out of the session, but you gotta be careful because you can lag yourself out of the session too. So it's a bit riskier on PlayStation, but on Xbox, that's the fix so that you can actually just dupe in peace, all right? And not have to worry about anything disappearing. So as you can see right here, I should have done this in the beginning, but Del Perro Apartment 4, I have a bunch of Fagios and a few Elegies. All right, I'm gonna sign in as an MC president and I'm just gonna blow up all the Fagios. Now, you can do this in the beginning. I recommend actually doing it in the beginning, but I kind of forgot to, so I had to do it after I got the stack. It's okay, it still works, but I recommend just getting rid of this, you know, step in the very beginning. So I went ahead and just killed myself because the cops were already after me. I blew up about five or six Fagios there, and I'm gonna go ahead and run into my MOC, and I'm gonna show you that even after all that, the stack is still there, all right? It might be a little, you know, lopsided and moving around the MOC, but it is still there. So at this moment, I'm gonna go ahead and open up my internet, and you can do this in or out of the MOC, it doesn't matter. We go to Bay 2 and hit Weapon and Vehicle Workshop, hit OK, click on Renovate, and this is where the 955,000 comes in. Boom, you pay for it, and it's gonna kick you out of the MOC. Now, you don't wanna enter back in the MOC on foot, or else the dupe will disappear, all right? This is the moment where you do need that oppressor I was talking about. Any Warstock vehicle that fits in there should work, but I've heard of other people saying it, it just disappears. So I always recommend the oppressor with this, all right? So go ahead and call up your oppressor through your MC menu, and it's really quick since you can use your motorcycle club menu, and this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna go ahead and hit right D-pad, and this is a vehicle that can be modded in the MOC workshop, which is why it works here. So hit right D-pad, you're gonna go ahead and drive into the MOC. Now once you're at this point, just hit exit the vehicle, all right? Now open up your MC menu, hit return vehicle to storage, now, you must call up one of those blown up Fagios or Elegies from Moore's Mutual, all right? And you must make a claim on one of them, all right? If you do not do this, you will dupe over your oppressor. People were losing their oppressors, all right? This is, that's why you must do this or else you're gonna dupe over your oppressor. So I'm gonna go ahead, get in the car after I've made a claim for one of those vehicles, hit right D-pad, repair the vehicle if you have to. I think it's only the first time you gotta do that. Go to plate and go ahead and change the plate. Now I had a custom plate already on here. To be safe, I always change the plate. If you only have one custom plate, which is on that, that you know, that Sultan, just go ahead and change the color. You should be good. And just hit exit the vehicle and then exit the MOC, just like that. Now, there was some misconception on what you do at this point. Guys, you have to call up your oppressor once again. All right, so you call up the oppressor right now and you go ahead and you drive that into the MOC by hitting right D-pad. You must do this every single time you enter the MOC or the dupe will disappear. This is what causes the dupe in the MOC to stay there, all right, and not just completely vanish. This is what this is why we do this step every single time. So hit exit the vehicle, return vehicle to storage, just like that. Now call up Moore's Mutual and you're gonna make a claim once again. We already created a dupe before we drove in the MOC. That was one dupe just like that. Now we're gonna go ahead and do another dupe. I'm gonna make a claim on another Fagio. Now get in your Sultan, you know, just wire triangle, go up to the plates, either change the plate itself or just a color. As long as you got a custom plate on the original Sultan you used in there, you should be fine by changing the color. That will work. And go ahead, exit the vehicle and exit the MOC. Now call up your oppressor and you can go again. We've already created two dupes just like that. Now I want to show you guys right here on this third one. This is what we're doing guys. What just happened there is I actually had a Fagio over at Moore's Mutual and it disappeared, all right, because I called up the oppressor. Now we're going to go over this right now really thoroughly, but this is basically what's happening because I think some of you guys are confused with why, why and how this dupes. Okay, so right there. The oppressor was the last thing on the map. If we don't call Moore's Mutual, like I said, we're gonna dupe over that oppressor. So at this point, what we're doing is we're calling a Moore's Mutual to make a claim on a Fagio or an Elegy. That Fagio or Elegy is spawning at Moore's Mutual right now. It's actually on the map. Okay, that's why right now when we get into this Sultan that's glitched in here and we change something on it, that is actually turning whatever's outside on the map 
into a sultan. That's how this glitch works. So I'm going to show you right here on the map once I spawn outside that on the map, if you go over to Moore's Mutual, you can see there's a Fagio right there. But that Fagio, believe it or not, at Moore's Mutual is actually already a sultan. All right. It might look like a Fagio outside and it might have the icon of a bike, but that's a sultan. So right now I call up the oppressor and what that does is it forces that Fagio slash sultan now to actually go back to the garage. So now that's back over at my garage. As you can see, it's not there. You can only have one personal vehicle on the map. So now that's over back in my garage and I'm free to keep duping again. So I'm gonna just, you know, rinse and repeat, drive the uh, oppressor back in there. Now this is the last one that I'm gonna do right here to show you guys, or one of the last ones, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do the same thing, call it Moore's Mutual, and I eventually basically did all of these Fagios that I had. And uh, I'm gonna show you the end result. So you see, this is the last one that I had. I'm gonna go ahead, that's at Del Perro apartment four. Remember, that's where I had all those Fagios. I even have two elegies in there that I didn't blow up. But I have all the Fagios in there and all those are blown up. So, I'm gonna go ahead and change the plate because I like to be very safe. A brand new custom plate on every single dupe. You can't go wrong with that. That's why I recommend extra custom plates. All right, so at this point, we're gonna be spawning outside very soon. And when we spawn outside, I'm gonna actually show you on my mechanics list that every single one of those Fagios that I blew up, I turned them into a dupe. So let's call my mechanic and I'm gonna go ahead and show you my apartment, uh, Del, or my garage at uh, Del Perro apartment four. Okay, so there you go. You see they're mostly all Sultans. All the Fagios that were in there are now Sultan RSs. Now I have two LGs. Check this out. If you're in a solo public lobby right now, you're free to do whatever you want. I am actually gonna go ahead and call up an elegy that I have there and I'm like, you know what? Let me just go ahead and make this a dupe while I'm at it. So I called up an elegy. I'm just gonna blow it up right now. You don't only have to do this in the beginning. Like you can do this whenever. All right, so call up the elegy. I blew it up. Now I'm gonna go ahead and press right D-pad to go in there and I'm gonna do the whole glitch again. As you can see, I'm just gonna fast forward to this. You guys know the deal. Call up Moore's Mutual. I'm gonna make a claim on that elegy. Go in there, change the plate of the color, exit the vehicle and exit the MOC and then boom. And look at, look at it on the map right now. You see, it's over there at Moore's Mutual. That's a car icon because it's an elegy, but that is indeed a Sultan RS now. And I'm gonna prove it to you right here. I still haven't returned that vehicle to storage yet. That, that elegy is still on the map right now. So if I call my mechanic, remember that was the first one on the list. You see it's a Sultan RS now, the very first one on the list. So it even shows up in the mechanics list as a Sultan RS, even though it's still on the map as an LG, okay? So I hope this was thorough enough for you guys. That's going to be it for me. My name is Roll Easy. Make sure to subscribe by hitting that red button. If you're new, turn on post notifications. Drop a like down on this video for the freshest and most informative dope GTA 5 online content. Peace out, everybody. Happy glitching.